Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! <laughs> We're having a good time already here on Spotlight On. If you only knew what was going on here in the studio. Hi, welcome to Spotlight On. I'm your host, James Law Jr. And you can follow me on Twitter at Black Hope LA, and that's B-L-A-K-H-O-P-E-L-A. And I have a great guest today, and I'm very excited to be able to chat with her. And she is a hot Russian-born actress. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Who was a competitive ballroom dancer? I was, when I was younger. Model. Mm -hmm. Went to university, studied business economics. Business administration. So that's brains, too. <laughs> and she's been on TV shows and films. But she's been on TV shows like, you probably may recognize her from uh, Vampire Diaries. You're also on Nip Tuck. And she actually co-stars as a, well, mysterious spy who shares her first name on TNT's new <laughs> hit drama. <laughs> that's the same name. It's crazy. Same, uh, name. same name. Agent X, Olga Fonda. Thank you for having me. Welcome. <laughs> I know. I saw, okay, I want to ask that right away. So, was the name Olga already, or did they? You know, I w I I'd like <laughs> to just kind of in my dreams um, think that Blake Heron, who wrote the pilot, yeah. um, had me in his mind. But unfortunately, we didn't know each other <laughs> that time, so no. <laughs> so I was gonna take it. But okay. it was so great because you know, all of a sudden, you're not confused. You know, you can find your trailer, you can find your scene. <laughs> <laughs> People tell you, hey, Olga. You're like, oh, it's me. Okay, hi. It's, like, it's me. It's Olga. Look, it's so I, I just love that it's the same name as yours. I it's mean, great. But so I got to tell you, you know, I think in the 80s when I grew up, uh, when I was born, uh, most of my friends were named Olga. Oh. Uh, we had five friends, four of them were Olga's, oh and God. one Tatiana. So actually, Tatiana, I love that name. We, we ended up um, naming each other by last names. Oh, well, okay, that makes sense. Right. Because otherwise it's too confusing. Yeah, it is. Like you'd be Olga C, Olga D, <laughs> Olga F. I mean, Olga number one, Olga number two, <laughs> Olga number three. Because <laughs> I have a common name here with James, very common name, obviously. Uh, so I kind of know how that is. And I run across James all the time, but they do the whole Jimmy or Jim. Right. J. 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 So yeah, I hear a bunch of those. So that's a little easier. Yours, I I've had people name. call me O. I mean, that's really, really lazy people, don't that's you think? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I only have four letters. Oh, that's why I'm waving at you. Oh, like, oh, hey, hey O. o. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I like that. Well, welcome to the show. And you're, you're you. on this hot new show that actually I watch. And I really enjoy it. I'm so happy you do. Um, <laughs> and what caught me was uh, when I saw the preview. Mm -hmm. And before I even knew Sharon Stone was on it, Jeff Hepner was the one that I kind of was like, who's this guy? And like, I saw this opening scene of something, I'm like, oh, this sounds really good. Then I tuned in and see all the rest of you guys on there, and it's like, this show is really good. Cause especially your character, it's like, well, I mean, well, well, well. She's great. I loved her. You know, I, the minute I read the pilot and I saw her being, you know, on the paper, I was like, oh my gosh, she's so cool. She's so great. She's so much fun to play. Yeah. I mean, I get to do a lot of action and, you know, I haven't been acting for that long mm -hmm. and every role is a gift for me, but I always wanted to do an action role. Mm -hmm. You know, you see Angelina Jolie oh, or yeah. Joel Sal uh, um, Saldana, you know? Yes. And you're just like, wow, I mean, those girls look right. so great and it must be so much fun. Oh, yeah. And I grew up with, you know, my brother and a few male cousins, so we yeah, wrestled around. Um, they tossed me around a little bit. <laughs> they I survived. Right. You survived. I survived. I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. So, because you have a martial arts background, correct? Uh, I, I've taken it as a form of exercise, and Ooh, okay. I really, really love it. Love it. Okay. Yes. And I'm back now. I'm working out again. And it's just for me, I love this. You know, I do it three mm. times, four times a week, oh, wow. and it just takes all the anxiety and stress oh, out. And then all of a sudden, you come out, you know, you punch this bag where you do kicks, and, you know, you come out of the room, and then the traffic doesn't bother you. you know? I don't really. You're in sudden, LA. Like, yes, that's very true. <laughs> the rainy oh, day, and you're like, this is amazing. <laughs> I love this. I feel so great. You should be doing 
comedy. You're hilarious. <laughs> oh, thank this is you. I'm talking to you before. I'm like, you should, should hire some comedies too. <laughs> I would love. To. I always tell people. I don't on my think shows. I'm funny, but thank oh, you. Oh no, you're 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 good. You're so so how did um Agent X come into your your realm of reference? I was shooting uh, Vampire Diaries in Atlanta. Which you were very popular from that one. Thank seems. you. Yes. I loved it. It was so much fun, and I lived in Atlanta. Yeah. Um, you know, they sent me an audition on tape, and okay. it was a little challenging because we were, you know, of the shooting schedule. So mm -hmm. I ended up finding a place where I can actually tape an audition, okay. and it was so. E I mean, I wouldn't say easy, <laughs> but I really like. I loved it. So it was, mem you know, memorized it quite quickly. Yeah. Um, and I went in and I read it, and then I was like, well, I didn't hear from them for a long time, and I'm like, uh -oh. I guess I didn't get it. Right. And then I got back to LA. I was very bummed out, and then they called me and they said, you have a producer session. So wow. I was really excited about that, and um, I walked in you know we had director producers we yeah. had a whole room yeah. and I'm a little nervous yeah, you yeah. know and um, I start reading and all of a sudden I'm not gonna say who it is okay. they know who okay. it is they but know their phone kept ringing oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> rang once <laughs> it rang twice and yeah. it, you know they apologized yeah. uh, it rang the third time and I was like they're so not interested <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness that's it yes. I'm done and uh, you know I came out of the room and I was like all right well it is what it is right Next thing I knew, I got a phone call congratulating me on the role, wow. and I was jumping up and down. Well, you know, that is actually um, a good moment to talk about, that you kept doing your audition, kept doing right. what was going on, no matter what's going on in the room, because you just never know. You never know. Right. Yeah, you kind of have to continue just stay in your character and just, mm -hmm. you know, Go through, go for it. <laughs> Once upon a time, when I tried to do some acting <clears throat> back in the day, I remember going to an audition where um, the the director's in the room, but he kept looking away. Oh. And I'm doing this, you know, being this big scene. I'm just like, oh, I think I'm doing great, and he's looking that way. And I was like, <laughs> oh my god, this is not good. He's done with me already. Right. Like done with me already. Yeah. And it turned out he did like what I was doing, but just that he hears a certain way. Oh, how interesting. So you can't, like you said, you got to just stay focused. And you have such a powerful voice. Right, so he can so hear he's me. he's like, he's he was trying to take it in. <laughs> and I, and, but at first I was a little nervous about that, but you give right. a good point of, to people out there, actors and actresses out there, just keep going. Well, it's interesting, you know, every single role, pretty much most of the roles that I got, I came out of the room and I was like, I'm not sure if I did well. And next thing right. you know, you get a phone call and you're like, wow, this is amazing. You know, and it was a point actually, you know, a lot of, as you know, acting, you know, there's a lot of ups and downs. And there was a point where I wasn't sure if I want to continue doing it. Because okay. okay. I was like, well, you know, it's a lot, it's a struggle. Yeah. And I was like, maybe I need to find something else. You know, maybe this is not really my calling. And then um, I sat down with a friend of mine who said, when you feel this way, that means you're very close to something. So just Ooh. continue, you know, continue pushing forward. And I said, you know what, right. And of course, the next morning I woke up and I was like, so much more of a power yeah, in yeah. me. And I was like, what was I talking about? I mean, <laughs> yeah, who yeah, am I yeah, kidding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and right. I got a phone call to audition for Vampire Diaries. Wow. And I came out of the room, and two hours later, they called me, and then they said, can you be on the plane in two hours? Oh, my God. And I went for one episode, and turned out, I came back like six months later. I mean, yeah, six months later, yeah. 13 episodes. Wow. The, it's, 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 that's a good point. When you say you feel like you're just down and out, like I'm just done with this business, you know, screw it all, and then... You just have to, you know, never give up. I think I've yeah. learned that lesson. Never give up. Always go follow your dream and continue growing, continue studying, yeah. continue investing in your knowledge and yourself, and things will come to you. That's very smart advice. I think it's very true. And it, it's, you've been around for a while doing other things, so you know how this, these businesses work. Well, and also I think, you know, you need to love it. Yeah. And I kind of love that. I agree. I, you know, it's a gamble. Yeah. So I think I'm a gambler. <laughs> well, you know, we've <laughs> chosen, you know, I think I am too, because we've chosen a career that's not always stable. Exactly. That, you have yeah. to love it. Yeah, you have to love it. I always say that we're we're also entrepreneurs, in a sense. True. I mean, you're, you're, you're your own company, you're in business. Right? Mm -hmm. And so you get out there and sometimes it's, it's really, it's feast or famine sometimes. Yeah. You have to, you, you have to, yeah, you have to, you know, you have to fight for yourself. You have to, uh, you know, I mean, I'm constantly training mm -hmm. right now because I, you know, I, this is something that I absolutely love. Yeah. I work on my American dialect. I work on oh, other good. dialects. Um, I'm reading books about acting. I've oh, taken, you know, acting classes. and. Oh, good. How yeah. is the American acting? Because you, you sound <laughs> great. Like you, I mean, did you know English before... I did not. Okay. So I went to high school yes. uh, as an exchange student when I was 14, 
and I really, really wanted it. And I passed the exams, and I told my parents, "This is what I want to do." You know, I've met few people that went and did exchange program, yeah. and they were speaking so highly, and yeah. it was such a different lifestyle, and it was so interesting. And I wanted to be adventurous, and I'm like, "This is what I'm going to do." So I went in. Um, I came to United States, and then quickly I realized, I'm like, "Oh my God, what have I done?" Yeah. You know, all of a sudden they're dropping me off at my host family, and I'm like, "I'm going to be here for a year. <laughs> I have to learn how to speak and live with this family, right. and actually, good, you know, get good grades." Yeah, because yeah, how yeah. embarrassing would that be Boy, of coming home, you know, whether it be shipped home uh, earlier yeah. Yeah. or come home with no, you know like worst grades ever yeah yeah so i couldn't disappoint my parents i couldn't disappoint myself yeah um but i remember the first time i arrived my host family were so sweet and i still friends with them i host family i Hi host guys. family i great. love them um you know, they've taken me to a big party, introduced me to the neighborhood. Oh my God. And here I am, and I'm so overwhelmed. I'm sure. And all of a sudden, I found myself sitting there, and, I'm, and I can't understand anything. I feel like I'm, I can't like, I feel like I'm I can't an alien, imagine. you know, and yeah. I don't understand anybody. And I felt like I was in this, like, space bubble. Wow. And uh, next thing you know, you know, I had to learn how to speak English. But if, you know, when you were talking to me and you say, so, uh, where are you from? And I'll be like, I am from Russia. My hometown is blah, blah, blah and it's located over <laughs> and you know like and I would read like two pages of like right. the textbook that I right. memorized yeah yeah it was really funny good for your acting though uh, oh yes of course <laughs> memorizing now we have some we have people who are watching and Tracy Newman wants to know and I oh answers I like this yeah game. <laughs> I like so did she play Catherine's daughter on the vampire diaries I did yeah you did that was Nina Dobrev Nina Dobrev she is Awesome. I love that girl. You know, and just being there when I arrived, um, Nina and everyone from Vampire yeah. Diaries invited yeah. me right away to dinner. They showed me around and it was so nice. It yeah. was, they were so welcoming and just loving and caring. And it was the best experience ever. Because they've been on for a while at this point. I mean, oh, yeah. Been... No, they're a huge family. Yeah. They were for five years yeah. together. So yeah. as a new kid on the block, yeah. you, you know, you kind of a little scared yeah, and you're not yeah, sure yeah. how to behave but right away they took me oh, under their good. wings and showed me everything invited wow. me to every event they went and it was a lot of fun wow. that's nice. really so grateful so much to know also um who did your hair today yeah, apparently. Oh, so did. I did. And I see herself. <laughs> she did herself. Okay, girls. Okay, no. I have a secret for my hair. Ooh, tell it. Please tell it. Give us exclusive. For girls that have my hair, which yes. is a thin European hair, mm -hmm. you uh, do the curling iron, you flip it over, okay. and then there is a hairspray called Orbi. Ooh. Orbi? Orbe? Yeah. Orbe hairspray. Okay. It's a texture hairspray. You Ooh. spray it a little bit, and I swear, you toss your hair around, and all of a sudden, you're like a lion. <laughs> It's a good one. I do like that. See, guys, who's <laughs> here on, on, the, on, on, on the spotlight on? She didn't know this. I love that. That's great. Well, they got to, thank you, Jay. Okay, so thank you. Oh. Said. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I can sh I can share my um, secrets. We love that. So let's actually show a clip that someone put together of some of your greatest bits here on Agent X. Let's go ahead and show that. Kill a legs. Uh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> it was a hashtag kill a legs. Right. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> Strengthen your legs. That's what I do, you know, on a daily basis yeah. when I walk around. Oh my <laughs> that was very challenging, by the way. How many takes? Uh, I actually managed it in two, but wow. it was challenging. Wow. <laughs> and then this one's kind of funny. I remember that scene. And We had so much fun in this scene. We did. Oh, we, did. we cracked up. Here, look at that. Ah! Love it. <laughs> Love it. And this, the scene is coming up makes me laugh. Here you go. Take it. Take it. Go, girl. That's right. I love that. You know, I think it's going to drag your cigarette. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love that scene. Hey, still reaching for it. It's so funny. That's right. 
So, so if someone had put that together, I'd love that. It's all about the legs. It is. <laughs> you have great legs. Thank you. I'll so, take folks, it as a watch Agent X. I mean, she's like, I mean, hello, she's doing some great work there. So, Thank you, you said that one scene when you were in a car, it was with Jeff, I think. Actually. With Jeff, yeah. yes. You know, that guy is so great okay, and so good. down to earth, and he is really, really funny. Oh, good. Okay. And that whole, you know, we weren't stuck in the car for yeah. quite a long time, <laughs> and we were shooting it actually inside the studio with the blue screen. Oh, okay. okay. So, you know, and I had to pop champagne and the bottle all. <laughs> always kept popping and it was all over me and it was all over the car and we just kept laughing and then we had to you know talk about the, the, the different things and yeah. it's like wait what was it again <laughs> wait, wait what was the line again but we ended up having great time that's so oh my god but that that i'm telling you that scene where you flip over <laughs> also see with your, i mean your legs i mean it's like it's crazy that was my for our uh, first scene, I believe, yeah, that was my first scene that I shot of the episode. So explain your character for people who do not know who Olga is on the show. Who who are you on the show? Uh, sh well, she's uh, <laughs> an international spy, uh, independent spy, who happens to be a contortionist. Apparently. How often do you see that? No, you don't. Never. No, you don't. So I have advantages. Yes. <laughs> 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 I know all your male fans out there are feeling, like sure feeling the same way. Yes, I'm sure. Always land on your feet. Wow. Yeah. Um, but, you know, she's a great character. There's a lot of layers to her. Yes, there is. Um, you know, in the next few episodes, we kind of get to know her a little okay. better. Okay, good, good. But she's just, you know, what I kind of admire about her is the fact that she lives her life fully every day. It's mm. like her last day. So, you know, where um, John is a little bit different. John has one particular, like, this is my job. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go and I'm going to do it. Where she's like, well, I get it. Yeah, let's do it. I'm really good at that, mm -hmm. at, at that too. But let's have champagne and caviar while we're at it. <laughs> I know. I love that. See, they, <laughs> that was a good time while we're doing it. You know, right. But she's a survivor, you know, mm -hmm. so she, she's learning how to maneuver around. And she's getting what she, you know, she's doing what she needs to do in order to survive yeah. and get what she wants. Yeah, I know. And so, and so you said John, John is great. How is Sharon Stone? Oh, she's wonderful. Have to, I mean, I heard all she great things about her. She is wonderful. You know, it's interesting because when I went for the table read and we sat down and I came, you know, early a little bit and I was the only one in the room and I was prepping and I had like, you know, all my pants and everything organized. <laughs> I wanted to be, you know, looking. <laughs> I was like, all right, let's do this. Because I, I mean, love the full it. room of very professional actors have been yeah. doing it for so long. Yeah. And uh, I remember Sharon walked in and I was like, in the dream sequence, oh, so you know, she walks slow in, hair going, slow hair, and she <laughs> smiles, she says hello, and all I remember is like, I was like, I'm, I can't even say hello, like something is stuck in my throat, and I was like, hi, with probably the worst Russian accent ever, <laughs> <laughs> hi, <laughs> uh, but she was so sweet, and so yeah. wonderful, and very supportive, and oh, it was such a pleasure meeting her, and pl a pleasure working with her, and just for any actor who, you know, I haven't been doing it as long as I yeah. said, you know, to be on set at such it's the best class acting class well, sure. ever. You know, I mean, right. you there every essence to what you need to do on, uh, with acting is there mm -hmm. that you have to deal with and work with, mm -hmm. and have someone like Sharon Stone with such rich body of work yeah. to be oh, yes. in front of you and performing. I mean, it's amazing. And being also a nice person oh, and yeah. helping you along is even, even better. Absolutely, absolutely. That's the icing on the cake. And she's just so beautiful. She no, she is. She's I mean, beautiful. I saw her actually live somewhere recently, and we were, we crossed paths. I was like. God bless America. She looks great. And she's funny. That's what I heard. She's That's what I heard. really funny. Come on my show, Sharon Stone. Come on my show. <laughs> what to have you? Uh, no, but I, no, I've heard I've heard all great things about her. Yeah. So that's great. That's great to hear. And so now the show started uh, about a month ago or so. I place we were up to out. Uh, yes, it was November eighth. Yeah, I think November <laughs> on TNT. It's on Sunday nights, folks. So you just so you, you check you check that out, of course. Now, are you doing your own stunts on here? I'm doing Some as of them? much as I can. Okay. Um, you know. They don't want to hurt you. They I'm don't sure. want to. They I was going to ask you about that. <laughs> they're, you know, they're professionals yeah. to uh, to do more intense action. But I love it. As I said, you know, yeah. I grew up with you know my brother, yeah. and I just love martial arts. So for me, I'm like the kid in the candy store. Mm -hmm. Let me do this. Let me you know. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. it's fun for me. And I think because John um, Jeff. Yeah. John. Yeah, I know, I know, <laughs> I right, like, he plays on, but he's, yeah, yes, we got all these J's, yes, you know, He loves it as well, yeah. so both of us were like, this is so exciting, let's do it, you know, how, like, mm -hmm. just show us. 
Um, but yeah, more it must add but to I, your it must add to your acting too. Your scene because you're because you're not going away and someone else is coming in and doing right, it. You're right. You're still doing it and acting at the same yeah, time. And I have a great um, double. You know, Lena's of course she's a Russian girl. Hey, I'm going hi. girl. That's right. Hello. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. Hi. She, she's she. You know, she's great yeah. and uh, she helped me out tremendously and. I just, it's fun. Like, why not? It's fun. And I, I um. recommend, you know what? I've taken yogas before. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I love it. Uh, it's yeah. great. But, you know, I, I needed something that has to do with physicality. Yeah. And I like to be, you know, thrown around. And yeah. it's just fun. Like, why not? It's fun. Like, why not? Why now, not? someone else also <laughs> wants to know if you were an actress, what else would you be doing, do you think? Uh, she says she loves acting, so I don't know if she would be doing anything else. But I mean, you know, I kind of. Uh, I, yes, I, I do have other things that I want to do. I would love to uh, create a makeup line. Ooh, okay. I'm very girly. I would love to create lipsticks okay. or yes. mascara or blushes. You yes. know, this is something I'm interested in. I love fashion. I would like to be in fashion. And again, you know, I've been doing this modeling business since I, I came saying, out of school. So yeah. there's nothing, I mean, you know, I don't know much about other worlds professionally. Mm -hmm. But I always try to look for new things. You know, yeah. right now my newest hobby is um, dirt biking. I you're just like, you're like a tomboy. No, I, I do. I love I, it. You're but girly, but you're also, I like, mean, I love it. Yeah, well, I just love that. It's so much fun. You know, there's so many things out there. Yeah, and there I, I just want to try it all. You know, the yeah. other day I was talking to someone, and they're like, you know, um, there is, for one of the scenes, we'll need a stunt girl to drive a car. And I was like, oh, my God, I should go take that class. <laughs> that sounds so much fun. But, but you know, fun. but that's, that's the beauty of acting. You get to do so many learn so many different things yeah. you know cooking classes pottery classes yeah. uh what else is out there Why does helicopter they... i would love to fly a helicopter really? yeah or a plane that was oh that's my, my dream i would love that but it's you know yeah it's fun wow well again it, it makes it diversifies you of course and so when roles come up you're like i can i can fly a plane and make food <laughs> and drive dirt bikes and act hey here you go i can do, I can do I it think all for any actor or for anybody you know yeah. i just i feel a lot of us get so wrapped up in like everyday kind of routine mm -hmm. that it's important to find something different to do you know mm -hmm. go take a, how to apply makeup yeah you know i would like to take a makeup class not just from how i know it yeah, but actually yeah. from a professional to teach me how to do it on somebody else yeah or i mean i'm definitely not going to be a doctor <laughs> that's a little bit more complicated <laughs> but for some reason i can see you doing it. if you put your mind to it of blood. <laughs> but i have a feeling you would do it if you want to do it i have a feeling you would just go for it you would be you become a doctor and a good doctor well, yeah. i'm sure no i, I understand that I'm, I'm the same way i like i took i took a map making class cartography Ooh, and i wow, loved it that's, and that sounds interesting it was and it taught me how to read maps that see that's my problem yeah i remember when before navigation came yes. there was tom's guy oh, yeah, tom's i could guy, never right. figure out how to read it <laughs> it was like the I lottery was, though it's like l7 and four and b I, this you got to go together and then you got to find a way to get there whoever created navigation <laughs> i was like thank you because i kept see, i remember i was driving with a friend of mine and he was like so where are we going i'm like i have i, even, <laughs> that, I have no idea <laughs> should we pull over and ask somebody <laughs> right no, there's that whole story right and if it's mm -hmm. a guy I said no. Right, no. Showing how we are. You know how we are. But I, learned, but I learned how to do that, and I also took a, I took a calligraphy class once. I mean, just things just to kind of because like what you're doing is you're also tuning up your brain in general yes. by all yes. the different things that you're doing. Well, and that's you know you you growing, and mm -hmm. you know you just you you're not staying in the box. You mm -hmm. always have something else. You know, you developing yourself, and you well rounding, I guess yourself. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. I totally agree with that. Now let's go to the modeling part because you're talking about you were were you a Ford model, I believe. I started with, with Ford. Okay. I went. I was with Next, uh, and then I was with Photogenics. Oh, okay. Now was new. Okay. Um, I never thought I'm going to be modeling. I'm 5'7". I know. Usually models are like I mean, six yeah. feet starting. So when I got discovered, I was here. Uh, I got introduced to a guy named Paul Fisher. And he's like, you should be doing modeling. And I was yeah. at the university at that time yeah. studying. And I was like, I don't know. I mean, I never really <laughs> thought I could. I'm a little short. I'm, yeah. I wasn't really thinking that it's I qualified to be a model. Yeah. And then I said, well, how much can I make? Go, Here go, my go. business kicks oh, in. Good. That's right. There's economics. <laughs> and she like, studied. And, that's and right. And what do I need to do? Yeah. And then I, you know, I, I got here and I was like, all right, well, let's 
let's do this. Okay. This is a you know lifetime opportunity. That's another thing about opportunities. To me, you know, I spoke with actually someone today, and they said, "Well, I have this opportunity." I'm like, "You should grab it." Yeah. Why are you even thinking about it? If Why you not? have an opportunity, life is so rich and it's so full of surprises. And you know, in Russia, there is a saying: "If you make a plan, God will laugh." You know what I mean? Oh yes, <laughs> we, have it, we have it here too. No, we have another okay. one. Yeah, so yeah. So it's nice to you know. I thought I'm gonna go one direction, but I kept taking opportunities, and mm -hmm. here I am. And I'm I wake up and I love every day. I love what I do. I love where I am. Mm -hmm. You know. So I think for everyone, it's important to let something to come in and take it. Don't be afraid. Fear is the worst thing you can There's have. There's no room for fear. And a lot of no. people, you know, get like, well, I don't know if I can do it. Just try it. Try it. You know, if you love it, you love it. If you hate right. it, you hate it. There's nothing, you know. And sometimes the first time you do it, it may not be great, but the next time you do it is better. I mean, well, you just, I mean. The first time is always scary. Yeah. Always. You know, and then after that, you're like, okay, now I know what it is, mm -hmm. and it's usually you just make it so much bigger than it really is. I agree. It's just no. I just I tell people no room for fear. Fear is just unknown. It's just yeah. it's just the unknown. It's unknown exactly. That's all it is, and just try it and see what happens. You'd be very pleasantly surprised. Now in the modeling, so when you so you started modeling, mm -hmm. did you book gigs a lot at first, or was it a slow build, or because uh, no, of your height I or anything? No, I started. You know, my first job was okay. a Japanese hair campaign. Hey, that's the hair. I got I love Japanese people. I love Japan. Yes. Uh, but they chopped my hair. <laughs> right oh away. my god. <laughs> they chopped it. I had like a boy kind of hairstyle, and I remember, you know, I was so excited about it yeah. and it was a big amount of money at that time and yeah. I said wow this is I mean are you kidding me yeah. here I am trying Shave to do off. under you know like kind yeah. of the part-time jobs yeah and here I am making this amount of money I'm like chop it off yeah, yeah get rid of it get rid of I it I cried for a long time I'm sure you did I was like oh, I used to have long hair I know it's a lot of emotion they say you carry in your hair sometimes it, yes and I mean I cut I had grew my hair for like four years and I had down to here <gasps> wow and it was just beautiful and just luxurious but I when I cut it off I gave it to locks of love which is the organization oh, here that's nice. um, but I think I think I I shed tears for a while. I was depressed for like a week. Yeah, I cried for a little yeah. bit. It's not too long. I kind of enjoyed it afterwards because I yeah. didn't have to brush. Oh, way really easier. I'm like, hello, I'm now. Way easier now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then at some point, I think, you know, I was very thin and I was walking around, you know, those like um, surfer shorts type yeah. of yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I had the short hair and I had this aviator glasses. And I remember <laughs> I was sitting somewhere and this young guy walks by and he pushes me over. He goes, excuse me, sir. And I said, oh, oh, my oh. God. <laughs> I should grow my hair back. I'm a woman. <laughs> I'm a girl. <laughs> I'm a girl. Oh, that's so funny. Wow, you're like, oops. All right. But I know by I hear in modeling, you have to go along with whatever look they, you give most of the time. If you get booked a really good job, it's like yeah, well, they say. You know, they have editorial and they okay. have commercial side. So okay. I tried editorial and it was fun. You do a lot of, you know, magazine shoots, oh, okay. but you're not really necessarily making some money. Oh, okay, got um, it. And then commercial side, that's where I work the most. Okay. And that was a lot of fun. And I've done a lot, you know, a few jobs here and there and I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And I got to travel. And I'm sure. Slowly I started making appearances in different little TV shows and, okay. um, Commercial work, TV yeah. commercial work. Uh, where is the most exotic place that you went as a model? Exotic. Any? Ooh. You know, every place I went is kind of exotic. I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Kind of. You know, because from, I've yeah. never, I've never really traveled the world. So mm -hmm. for me, everywhere I went uh, was great. Um, and my first trip was in Hawaii. Uh, okay. I was shooting for O'Neill for like five oh, days, yeah, yeah, okay. and it was a five-day trip, and I was so wow. excited. And we tr like we were everywhere. Wow. Um, so it was very beautiful. And then Japan was my favorite. Japan. I I stayed in Osaka, and I loved oh, it. God. I loved the culture. I loved the people. The food, everything. The I'm food. Sure. I mean, yeah. it was wonderful. Uh -huh. Oh my God! Now going back, even going further back, because I I love my dance with the stars and <laughs> uh, all that stuff. So you were a competitive ballroom dancer as I a, a was. kid, teen, as a kid, as a kid, as a kid. Yeah, and yeah. I travel around Russia, and it was a lot of fun. You know, right. it kept me out of trouble. Obviously, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I went to school, and then okay. every day I went to ballroom dancing. I absolutely loved it. So, and it was pretty much you come from school, you have lunch, you jump on the bus, you go there, and you're there for four hours. You wow. come back, you do your homework, you eat, you sleep. Wow. And that was my life, but I, you know, when because I had such passion to it, it didn't bother me. Okay, okay. Um, and then, you know, we got to travel around Russia, and uh, we took trains around, and I oh, love trains. Trains in Europe, trains. wait, hello. Oh, it's no, so, nothing better. But it's fun, yeah. you know, and you got to miss quite a bit of school as well. <laughs> and then at some point, my parents sat me down and said, oh. um, 
listen, you need to figure out whether it's school yeah. or ballroom dancing. And obviously school became a priority. So education is well, always very important in your life, it seems to me. Yes. My parents made uh, you know it quite clear to me the, the minute I was born. <laughs> wow, that's, that's I think it's great that I didn't see nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah. Why not? Uh, a good education, you can't take that away from you. No, you can't. No, and I'm very, I'm grateful for everything, the all the opportunities with education that I had. And you also got a presidential medal, if I remember correctly. I got presidential scholarship. How does like, that happen? Oh boy, that's great. That's so um, great. You know, yeah, it was it was great. I think I was the first uh, international Russian student. They wow. had a lot of Germans. Okay. And so I sat down with the president and the whole group of people, and I said, you know, I really want to go to the school. I, I went to school in East Coast, you know, Winthrop, um, and I really would like to be in the school. And they said, oh, you know, let's look at your grades and the whole yeah. deal. And I kind of made a few speeches around and I, you know, c helped around okay. a little bit through campus. And then um, they granted me the scholarship. I went wow. to Russia. Well, actually, I'll back it up. I yeah. went to Russia back after school because the visa required two years back at home. Oh, okay. Okay. And then uh, Russian uh, uh, dollar, I mean, the, the dollar, um, it, it grew. It oh, okay. went from six rubles to dollar to like twenty seven. So wow. my parents are like, you know, this is this yeah. is we can't really afford it. Yeah. So the college called me and they say we grant you half of the scholarship, and I said, half. well, okay. I just ca I can't. You yeah. know, my host family we we welcome to, you know you welcome to stay with us, um, but still it was very expensive at that time. Yeah. And um, you know I said I can't I just can't do that. And then the first year uh, that I already went to university, they called me back and they said, can you please come back? We'll give you a full scholarship. Wow. So That's I was great. beyond um, thankful and yeah. grateful. And, you know, this beautiful country gave me so many opportunities. Yeah. And one of them is education. Yeah. Now, I just, just want to ask you, do you watch Dancing with Stars or any of those? Do I've you... watched it. I don't watch it, you know, like you probably yeah, 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 I probably don't watch it. I'm like, all the time. I want to be on. Are you watching it? I, I, want to be, I want to be really popular and then be a B-list star and go on it. Uh, That's my, that my that dream. That's my dream. Yeah, exactly. Um, That's my dream. I love it. You know, I miss it. Yeah. Um, do you still dance every once in a while? Like in dance? like privacy in my kitchen <laughs> while I'm cooking, you know. Um, yeah, I just I used to dance and when I was in twenty and I would yeah. go out, I would yeah. dance. I don't, yeah. you know, like imagine me right now, like <laughs> going outside. And you're like, okay, let's, let's do it. Let's do the pasta doble. <laughs> let's I'm do ready. Pasta doble. Yeah, I'm ready. Now, <laughs> what have what have you learned from your dance training and your modeling training that you apply to your acting? So much. Else? I mean, the first thing would be discipline. They, you know, dancing it was all about discipline. It's yeah. all about hard work. Um, oh, yeah. Modeling is the same thing, you know, discipline, hard work. Um, you kind of had to learn how to, in modeling in particular, well, in dancing even. In dancing, when you're performing and you're on stage, mm -hmm. every dance has a story. Right. It's not just moves, you know. You're, you're telling, uh, you tell, yes, you're acting without saying words. You're acting mm -hmm. with your body. Um, you're telling the story, you know. You're telling a love story. You're telling the story of passion, of Paso Doble, you know. Mm -hmm. You're telling uh, a, a story of fun and jive, you know. Mm -hmm. um, the same as modeling, you know. Yeah. You today you are wearing a particular clothing line, and you're a mannequin somewhere in the middle of okay. uh, a, a jungle. Yeah. I'm, I'm just I'm coming out. Right, no, I just I'm your part. You know, yes. so you had to kind of figure out how to do it in 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 inner without speaking, mm -hmm. and um, that definitely helps in acting. I'm sure also commercial acting for sure. Also commercial, I'm going to say they probably tell you we need you to convey blank yeah. to sell blank. Exactly. So you have to act. Now, how has it been for you learning retaining lines and the mem your memory part of your brain? I gotta tell you, uh, I'm pretty good at memorizing. Good. I think it comes from oh, yeah. a, a time of my school. Yeah. Um, I, I kept leaving everything to the last minute, and then I was <laughs> <laughs> do not recommend it. Yeah, don't do that. Don't, <laughs> don't do, that. do that. It worked for her, it's but don't do that. It's very stressful. It is very stressful. But it kind of got my memory uh, quite well trained. Um, it definitely, I mean, it's a bit more work than just if you, you were to yeah. do so, just because yeah. I have to translate it in my mind. Yes, you know, I'm still, saying, yeah. even though I speak pretty good English, yeah. um, it's it's work because I have to figure out the tone. I have to, you know, kind mm -hmm. of it makes sense. That makes sense. Right. That's a good point. So you have to translate it first, I guess, from your first language to right. your 
the language you're using. Exactly. So it's double yeah. work plus you have to memorize it. Yeah. And I honestly, sometimes I read and I'm like, what are those words? <laughs> because, you know, like if you go yeah. for a doctor or a specific words, mm -hmm. uh, terms necessarily, mm -hmm. yeah. I'll be like, what is it? And then I have to go yeah. to a translator and translate it. It's like going back to school. It's and school English language is hard. Uh, it's not. It is. It's one of the hardest <laughs> because I, I, cause I speak Spanish. My family is Spanish. So I speak Spanish. And so there's rules seem easier. Like there's things set up. Right. Like this is what happens for present tense, this happens for past tense. Usually words mean one thing. In English, some of our words mean two or three things. I gotta tell you, Russian, That's even worse, I man. mean, we have one word and you'll have 30 different meanings oh, in different, okay. you know, te past tense, this tense, female, male. Oh, wow. It's, I mean, very complicated. <laughs> but my mom laughs at me, you know, she keeps saying to me, sometimes I speak to her uh, on the phone and I keep forgetting some of the words and she goes, aha, uh -huh, forgot Russian, didn't learn English. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. No, mom, she's doing fine. Um, I so, love my mom. Of course, of course. Hi, mom. She's my best friend. Hi, mom. Oh, I love that. I love <laughs> hanging with that. And, and dad, too. Oh, my brother had his birthday yesterday and he had a baby a month ago. Happy birthday. Happy new fatherhood. I have a nephew. You're a nephew. Oh, so it's so cute. You remember the family. Yep. Little baby. Max. Baby, you know, I love newborns. I, you know, Similar. they used to terrify me like ages ago. <laughs> now I love them. They're so cute. <laughs> they are. They're so they They're smell so good. They smell good. They have the cheeks they and do. the feet. I know. I, do. I was with my, I was with my niece last, my great niece last night. And she's still, she's a year old now, but she's still just. You know what I appreciate about kids? Um, they're very honest. Yes. Yeah. Very they honest. Yeah. And, you know, for me as an actor, it's actually a kind of cool thing to do. Okay. You watch kids, how they interact in mm -hmm. daily lives. And it's interesting because they don't think about it. You know, as an adult, we're like, okay, if I have to go that way, you know, mm -hmm. how, like, and they just do it. And that's mm -hmm. why kids, actors are great because they yeah. just still kind of in there, they in the moment. Mm -hmm. And I think for every actor, it's important to come in and be like, all right, I understand that all my directions are here, but how do I get back in the moments and shut off my brain and just actually live it and feel it? That's like true. Like the kids do. They're very present. Exactly. Only because they, well, as adults, we have to learn how to be present. Exactly. Kids are just, that's just what they are. And I think it's very important to not forget that you are a kid yeah. and be able to be present um, in daily life. And yeah. actually, you know, feel the air, feel the wind, mm. feel the colors that are around you. Now, mm. the other day I was driving and I moved to like Calabasas area. Oh, okay, okay. And I love nature. Yeah. And I was driving, I looked at the sky and it was so blue and the trees were so green. I was like, wow, what an amazing feeling. And I had the butterflies and oh, I was like, I wish I could be, you know, I, I was able to do that on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. It's very important. It is, especially in LA. As, yeah, well, and uh, just with the business and right, everything. But right. I mean, for everybody, even yeah. if you in a different business. That's true. And I do, I, I have a garden in my backyard. I've been really working on it. Ah. It's my little sanctuary. And so in the middle of like this like LA oasis, I have this little thing here. And I do, I go outside and I just sit out there. I love it. It's beautiful. I, you know, I started growing rosemary and mint. Oh, good. Will smell good too, I'm mm, sure. It's so good. And I use it for my cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But I got to tell you, I'm having a hard time keeping my orchids alive. Oh, really? I think I love them too much, supposedly. <laughs> maybe, You're maybe killing your orchids by loving them to love. death. <laughs> like, wait, what do I do with you? <laughs> uh, my, my husband is more of a, a take a care of the uh, orchids and the flowers around the house and the garden. Because a good orchid is really good. I mean, when they Dang, really yeah. fully bloom and everything. He just keeps saving them from me. <laughs> I feel bad sometimes. Sorry, know, hubby. I try. I try. You try. I talk to my plants. I talk to them. They, they do You're pretty well. You're supposed to talk You're supposed to, to them. To. Yeah. I think so. The Vibrations were all energy, mm -hmm. right? And you know, putting a good music and good energy. I agree with that. I do. I There's times I put on disco music and I like be clipping my the, the, the pulling the weeds and stuff. You see them getting a better mood, no? I they do. like perk up a little. I and... agree. I completely agree. Yeah. I had tomatoes that were by my window, and I could tell whenever I played certain music, all of a sudden it was like it seemed like it was getting a little bigger, and the tomatoes were getting bigger. <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, nice salad. I'm I was like, nice salad. Down. I love my tomatoes. I do. <laughs> I love tomatoes. It's I so too. good for you. They're very good for you, actually. Mm -hmm. Very good for you. So many different ways. Um, so where does Agent X film? It filmed in a well. The pilot we filmed in Canada. Oh, you did okay. Filmed in Canada, okay. yes, and then the rest of it was here at Fox, and then different locations around okay. Los Angeles. So you do go to different locations around because yeah. I I saw once I was like that looks kind of like LA, but I wasn't really sure. Yeah, we went to San Pedro, Santa Clarita. Yeah, Carina, I thought somewhere. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Different places, and yeah. that was fun. You know, shooting in LA is fun because yeah, it is. then you ended up doing you know other things, and you're not completely. Yeah. 
To be honest, I'm, every time you shoot on location, everybody complains about it. But <laughs> to me, I'm like, it's a vacation. You have absolutely right. nothing else to do besides right. your work. You know, you mentioned being in an office somewhere with no windows, <laughs> pushing papers. I used to do that. Well, that's what I'm, I, a lot of people are saying acting is so difficult. It is not <laughs> difficult. Everything is in comparison. Maybe yeah. mentally it's a little yeah. kind of off because it's not stable. But yeah. I mean, let's put it this way. There are people there that have much more difficult professions than uh, yes. acting. Right. And then when you're on set, you know, somebody gets you coffee, you have a chair. It's not like, I mean, come on, let's be real people. <laughs> That's true. That's like, yeah. I, know, I never complain about my stuff ever. I'm like, I like what I do. You, can't. Like, you can't. You really I, can't. No, you know, you can't. it's not fair because other people have real professions. You know? Yes. <laughs> uh, I love, you, you, are, you are hilarious. I love that. Um, I, I just, there's just so much. I mean, we're, our time is up. Oh, basically. what? I know. <sighs> But I mean, you're we just, just... We just started talking about gardening. We have so I much know, more to talk I about. Know, I know. So so you do... So, well, quickly. So you're okay. gardening. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, uh, no, but just you're, you're so great. Thank you so much. Thanks for, for really... Me. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. It's such a pleasure. Yeah, thank you so much. I and really I just, mean it. I love this color. Well, you know, it's all, it, 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 all works, it works for us. It all works. The, the, the yellow works for us and the black. It looks good. That's looks good. Let's looks good like with your it. hair. Oh, thank you. And so folks are saying the same thing. They're, like, they're saying thank you. Uh, two people said you're really pretty. Oh, thank you so much. The... Happy holidays. Yes, happy holidays. <gasps> are you Mary... staying in town? Uh, no. Well, I'm here for Christmas, and then I'm going home for New Year's to see my mom, okay. and then I have to fly back. So if folks want to find you on the interwebs, where yes. can they find you? You can tell them in there. Uh, Instagram, Olga Fonda, my name. Twitter, the Olga Fonda, because Olga Fonda was taken by someone else. Who's Who that? took my name? Give it back to her. Give it back to her. Give it back to me. Uh, no, at the Olga Fonda, and then we have Facebook and everything else yes. under my name. And you can watch her on Sundays on TNT for Agent X, I believe, on hiatus at the moment because of the winter, or are you on... Uh, I'm. Uh, Can't remember. No, we're done with this show, okay. but I will be. I will be doing a different show oh. afterwards. Ooh. Oh, very. Can you say anything about that yet, no. or no? Okay. <laughs> keep, keep an eye out but for it. Don't follow out, her. Watch out three episodes, and yes. I'm closing. And the last uh, premiere is two hour premiere, and it's going to be great. The last one is one of my favorites, Ooh. and you are up for a lot of surprises and mystery, and I hope you're going to love it. I'm going to watch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tweet you. Sounds I'll good. Tell you, I'll tell you what I think. I'm tweet you what I, I will think. be live tweeting. Oh, you were? Oh, good. Yes, absolutely. Oh, then we'll live tweet together. And we have Ask Olga, so 30 minutes before the premiere. Oh you can God. ask me any questions, and I'll be happy to answer. I love my fans. Uh, the fans are the, they are the <laughs> you best. You guys are great, they're part honestly. Of, they're part of your village. They're they, all... You know, spring. they're family. You guys are great, you know. Because of them, I am doing, you know, I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm really enjoying it. So it's yeah. thanks to everyone around the world that yes. is supporting us and love it, loving us. And so thank you. Thank you very much. And that's an addition of Spotlight On. I'm James Hodge. You can follow me on Black at Black Hope LA on Twitter and James Hodge on Facebook. Thank you so much. Thank you, Olga. Thank See you. you next time. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Yes, your hair. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.